So this is the brushed motor, <clears throat> stock servo, everything. Just trying to run it a little bit. Kind of get some, get some footage. <clears throat> I'm going a different direction. So I actually have no clue what's over here or how to run or how to run and stuff either. These are just kind of like some cool roots. This truck loves roots. It loves, loves roots. <clears throat> The flex in this thing is great. Went to the outside. Try to get to the inside of this one. There we go. I'm gonna lock my rear. Let's see it pull up over that. There it is. Man, I missed all that. I'm gonna go back down. <laughs> Here we go. Pull up, baby. Yeah. That's it, right there. <clears throat> That's sweet. Oh, so. Yeah, I don't know about the uh, competitions. I've never done them. I read the rules. I think this truck falls squarely in that size category where, you know, I think with the wheelbase, the two twos are very awesome, but that puts you in class three. Then you're going to be running against everybody that's got totally awesome stuff. It's like you need a class two vehicle with all of those rules, but allows a but allows a 2-2, you know? And these aren't like gigantic 2-2s. Two these are the Super Swamper TSLs, uh, not the XLs. So, it's 5.4, which one-tenth scale is a 54-inch tire. I'm not sure that's totally accurate. These look like, you know, something squarely in the 40s if it were real life. I don't know what we're going to do here. We got a little undercut there for the rears. Oh, look at that. Love being pleasantly surprised, right? Here's some more, more of that walking away. I love the watch. Yeah. But anyway, I'm not a, not even really interested in competition. This is just, I wanted to build a truck that would drive here, anywhere here. So we got this, these sandstone formations. This whole thing is huge. And uh, we've got a, a river system here, awesome. Also, it's got a bunch of Cleveland shale, uh, slippery river stones, excellent like water, water hazards, um, fly fisher, fly fishing guys dream. Uh, you know, we just got these awesome locations like this. Uh, it's, you know, it's not Utah, it's not Arizona. Um, it's not even Tennessee. It's different. It's different than that. Um, I'm a real big 
eastern hill climb kind of guy. And this is different. This, this is not bouncing. This is like crawling, crawling in the mud. So, yeah, again, this thing's set up exactly like, like it was this morning. I didn't get out until just a minute ago. So this is kind of my, my run video with the brush motor and the stock servo. Um, I've got a bunch of other videos, not necessarily posted on YouTube, but it's all, all basically all the ones on YouTube so far are this configuration, you know, with, with slight changes to the shocks and tires and stuff. Um, but this is the setup. All right, so I'm turning full right, full right, straight, full right. I got nothing. I've, this is, this is why I want a servo. You know, we saw the numbers this morning. You know, when it when it tilts down like this, it gets, uh, you know, 13, 1500 grams per wheel. And with these tires, it just does not grab. Will not grab. Well, the tires grab, the servo won't move. So I'm hoping that SA75 fixes that for me. This is beautiful in the sun, huh? I'm just gonna ride this ridge here. It's the stock drag, stock drag brake on the XL5. Very nice. Yeah, one more tricky bump here. Should be okay. So what I don't have, I can't just stop on a hill like that. So I've got to, I've got to point and shoot. I got to commit. Let's stick out of here. So that's where the motor's coming from. Also. Uh, my previous video, the devil staircase, that really, uh, really bugs me. I can't get up that thing. I feel like I should be able to. It's right at that angle where you're lightening up the fronts and it just won't bite. Uh, you know, you got all the weight on the rears and it just won't go up it. You know, it's not tipping over backwards. It's just sitting there gripping and slipping. So I've got a little idea. Um, I'm going to modify these tires here that are currently... Ohio cut you know I got the, the traction bars traction bars cut out of them I'm gonna not do a full Tennessee cut but I'm gonna I'm gonna sipe the lugs that I have and I'm gonna cut a couple of the little lugs out uh, in the center patch to try and make like a, a mini traction bar. I'm going in stages basically. You guys see these roots? These roots are not so. Which way do I want to go? Hmm. I don't want the stick to get messed with me. So let's get rid of him. <clears throat> let's get rid of him. We're going to do this. We're going to walk the line. So this is usable, usable flex. See that axle, that front. That front's coming up. Check that out. 
Wanna make sure I don't slip off that back. Yeah, that FOC would probably help in situations like this. That's relatively high stakes, right? If it slipped off that, it would hit that hill and it would hit that cliff edge and it would drop 15 feet and then roll another 50 feet down to that path, um, which is what I would do too. So I'm nestled up right here trying to make sure I don't regret picking up this hobby. Let's see if we don't high center. Come on rears. Oh no, we're we're hung. There it is. It's a little bit of work. No problem though. So right now I'm still driving on the that 1500. Sorry, I had a stick. Driving on that 1500 battery. Um, so I probably got a few minutes left. I got the other two in my pocket yet. My goal today wasn't to do any particular obstacle. It was just to come, come hang out. Check this gigantic boulder out. You can see Heatley Lake over there. It's a lot bigger than it looks from here. Absolutely amazing. But yeah, my goal, this truck, be able to drive it basically here and take it where I want to take it. You know, I can go down the river, take it where I want to take it. You know, I think a lot of people think a trail truck is, you know, less good than a crawler. And again, I'm not a I'm not a competition crawler. Nothing against those guys. I look up to them. But I think a trail truck has just got a different mission in life. Totally different mission. It's got to be good at everything. It's got to be the all-purpose. It can't just do rocks. And as cool as those competitions are, I'm not sure, you know, the, the best trucks that win those contests, I'm, I'm not sure they uh, would be all that great just generally doing trail stuff. I, I don't know. We'll see. Um, maybe the all-purpose crawlers, like when you go to a contest and you don't know who built the course, you don't know what the course is going to be, if there's going to be muddy sections, wet sections, or whatever, maybe those trucks are set up more like trail trucks. We're gonna pull this. Yes, we did. Anybody see that? We're gonna pull this. I'm not a pinstriper either. 
I am not ashamed to admit that I will go hand of God my truck to prevent a pinstripe. And nice to meet you. Oh, this is. Yeah. This is this is good stuff. Let's see if we can get up on this bad boy. So usually with an entry like this, it gets a little twitchy because uh, you can roll out. I should unlock my rears. Unlock the rears, see if I can get any dig on it. Yeah, okay. There we go. There we go. And now we're full. we're absolutely full. Full flex. Check this out. We are rocked over fully on a big hump here in the front. Kind of hard to tell. <clears throat> Ooh. Uh. And the sandstone, this stuff is weird. This stuff is slippery some days and it's grippy some days. So it's starting to, to roll that tire. I'm holding full left. That's a good, uh, good tire test for comparison in the future there. Come up over that. So I'm thinking about doing something funny with the foams. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna stretch some halos over two two rims and see how it fills up a 5.4 tire. And I might have to add like a tuning ring from a Crawler Innovations foam to help out. And I'm gonna see, see how that works. So I'm kind of tired of spending money. And I don't want to just go buy foams or any foams or whatever. Wow, that's that's a misstep. That's a broken femur. <laughs> Check it out. Look at that. Look at that. That's it's that's only like 35, 40 feet down. It, you know, not a not a big deal. Not a big deal. Nothing to worry about. So I'm kind of done spending money. I want to build, build this thing to where, like I said, goal is to be able to drive this thing anywhere I want. Here or down in the river. And as much crawlability as I can get out of it. Proper crawlability. However that's defined, whoever gets to define what that means. Um... I want this thing to be a rock monster. I want it to be be able to go up things that it shouldn't. That when you look at it, you're like, what? Did it just crawl that? I think that's what we all want. I'm gonna get a high center of this, aren't I? No steering, no right whatsoever. see if I can't get this yeah anybody see that I think that was on account of having all four wheels engaged providing traction having that ability <clears throat> to go opposite lock to opposite lock when needed to get over something like that. That's that's great. And the and the body clearance. The body clearance was not not an issue. It wasn't hanging up. The tires aren't shaking the truck down as it's doing it. So that's why I had to put a body lift on it. <clears throat> you know you got fender wells that are in this thing. Put a body lift 
on it to make sure your tires can get all the way up into them fender wells. Right, when the body's sitting in the stock position, it just, it rubs. And it, it limits you. So people talk about taking the stock limiters out. You know, tons of videos on that. One of the very first things I did, my very first thought was, why? It's not helping, nothing. You know, the tires are getting no more articulation because the body's stopping them. So I fixed it. I fixed it on the old GTSs. Um, you know, these Dravtex, these are uh, made by Deluxe. They're good. Um, they don't leak. They're very smooth. They're, they're silky smooth. Um, I didn't need them. I'm not sure that there's any performance advantage besides the dampening is way better than on a GTS. It's a big bore shock. But we're not really using dampening on crawlers. You know, we're running relatively lightweight oil. Uh, most of us like fast timing anyway, and that's all dampening is, is timing. So, you know, like I said, they're, they're nice. I like them. They look cool. I mounted them uh, inverted so the, the coilovers are on the top, um, which looks awesome. Got to lock up here. Lock up and flip. Let's try this again. There we go. Uh, the coilovers I mounted on the, the top of the... Boy, it's getting dark, isn't it? They're up. But they're positive springs. My negative springs are the shock bands. So I've got upward control and downward control. And once I had that, now all of a sudden we can talk about timing. Um, so I'm actually running like 45 weight oil in the front. And I'm gonna go this way. Uh, I think it's 35 in the front, 45 in the back is what I'm running. Just to get it, uh, just to get it, you know, to where it, it doesn't look like a real truck. Um, some guys do an awesome job. I'm not a cinematographer, but you know, if you slow your, if you increase your frame rate and, uh, I wouldn't call it slow motion, but you, your playback speed is a little slower and you take all of your dampening out. So you make it fast timing. It looks real. It looks like a real truck. Um, I wanted to do that originally, but I just got into the performance aspect of it. I want this thing to crawl. I'm going to, I'm going to take it and do all kinds of fun stuff with it. So can't, everything's a compromise. And I guess this is how I'm building the truck for now. You know, will priorities change? I'm sure. I'm sure they will. I should plug in my roll bar lights, huh? Sands down. Boom. That thing. I don't know how big that is. I mean, it, it's. I, I, I don't. It's hard to even have perspective. A house? A house and a half? Amazing, gorgeous. And this is, this is nothing. This is the, the lazy, the lazy upper trail. I have not even posted videos of some of the cool areas. My other video, um, trail, trail tune and discussion. Uh, I was down in a, in a very interesting area. Um, there's a lot of people down there. That's where the rock climbers and everything go. And, uh, boy, I'm, I'm going to get cut off here. The truck's not, but I am. 
Um, that other that other area has got a lot of uh, really cool features. Um, some of these big boulders too, they've got uh, perfect slopes that are like right there at that 50 degree mark and you get the moss on them and then with the wetness and the dirt and everything else. Um, some days you get up and some days you don't and that's, that's exactly, exactly what I'm going for. I think I'm too tall. <laughs> A little bit too tall. Okay. No more messing around. Let's get out of here. Roads. Where we're going, we don't need roads. 